Hi, and welcome to my continuation of my theory of reviewing all the uh, regular totemary and then ranking them from what to best. So, uh, today I'm going to review the second, the Bravelo Turtle, the Bravelo Turtle 2, uh, the Red Team. So, uh, after I review each of the Bravelo Turtle movies, then I will rank them from what to best, and then I will go on and uh, uh, review each of the uh, trip movies, and then rank them from what to best. Okay? So, we'll go to the next two, uh, uh, movie franchise that I'm going to review for y'all and rank for this month, okay? So let me know in the comments section below um, which one are you looking forward to the most? Uh, my uh, Brave Little Turtle movie review, the ranking, or my Trek movie? And, and which, one, which one you like the most? Out of the uh, out of the Brave Little Turtle movie and the Trek movie, okay? So the other day I reviewed uh, the Brave Little Turtle, and now it's time for me to review the second one, the thick one, the Brave Little Turtle to the rescue, okay? So uh, today I sat down and watched uh, the Brave Little Turtle to the rescue for the first time. I've never seen before. Uh, but now, uh, this is new. I never seen it for a second or third time. I only seen it for the first time today. Uh, but the first one, I think like two or three times in my childhood. I was like five or six years old. Five or six years old. Cause I, I still had it on um, the VHS tape. And uh, I said that. This one is, is underrated. A lot of people don't talk about it. They just talk about, you know, the more popular, the more uh, world famous uh, animated slash cartoon movie. Like Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, Despicable Me, How to Train Dragon, 101 Dimension, Band Me, Snow White. Stuff like that. Movie like that. And, uh, okay? And, I think the Brave Little Toaster, the Brave Little Toaster got like 77% of Rotten Tomatoes from the credit, and the audience of Rotten Tomatoes gave it like 81. 80, 81. So, it was a uh, pretty good review. You know, 77 and 81, that's pretty good. Okay? So, so uh, they had some problem with the Marie, but overall, it was pretty good. And most people would say the first one is the classic, underrated, like I said, which you know, a lot of people don't talk about. It. And then when I look up the second and third one, which I never seen before, um, people bad mouth it. I, I think I think both of them, uh, uh, to the rescue and go to Mars, forty percent. And then I think. The audience gave the second and third one like 45 and 40 percent. Okay, so so let um um so I think most of the people I'm not sure, but uh but the main character come back. All the main character from the first one came back, and the lamp. Radio, Blanket, Blanky, uh, Kirby, which is a vacuum cleaner, uh, Toaster, they all come back, and, um, uh, and, this is, uh, 74 minutes, so a little shorter than, uh, than, uh, the first one, the first one, like an hour and 30 minutes. This one is an hour and 14 minutes. So like roughly 15 minutes shorter than the, the first one. I think the first one uh, went to theaters. This one and the third one, uh, Brave Little Toaster to the Rescue and Brave Little Toaster Go to Mars, 
uh, straight to DVD. Okay. Um, to me, I like it. I don't think it's bad. I wouldn't give it a 40 or 45 percent or 40 percent or 40 like the audience and the credit of Rotten Tomatoes. Um, uh, now, um, I'm gonna tell you what I think what what hurt this movie and what made the first one like a classic or an underrated movie and what what worked the way on the, in the original. Um, and also I'm gonna tell you um, um, if they were kept what what's the way out in the first one in the second uh, in the second one then uh, it might it might uh, got better uh, scoring better review but for me I like it uh, but we'll see we'll see uh, Okay. Now, um, now I'm gonna give you some dumb examples. Now, when you go to see these type of movie, um, you're going to the movie for that, not that. And uh, the writers, the director, producer, think, oh no, we want we want for this up in and the audience, the fans, I like, know we want that. Like when you go to a Godzilla movie, we don't care about the human character. Uh, we want Godzilla. We, we we're going to a Godzilla movie to see Godzilla fight. You know, like Mega Godzilla or King Kong or Godzilla fight. You know, Rodan or, or you know, you know, his famous creatures and stuff like that. Monsters. Same thing with King Kong. We want King Kong to fight monsters. We don't care about the human character. The only King Kong movie that had human character in it that was worked so well with the original 1933 black and white one okay um um and when you go to like a toy story movie watch a toy story movie you don't care about the human character you care about you watching well, like Bud Lightyear and Wordy and the and the Green Dinosaur and the Flingy, you know, all of them talking about the master, the owner. But you don't want to see the owner and the owner talking. You want to see Wordy, Andy, all the other toys talking about the owner and go on their adventure and toy toy franchise. Um, okay, um, same thing, same thing, and a brave little toaster, uh, movie. You watch a brave little toaster, not because of, uh, the to uh, the five appliances, uh, master. You, you watch it because of the five little Buy appliances, the vacuum cleaner with the Kirby, the radio, blanket, uh, toaster, and lamp, and, and their adventure. And when they start focusing on the master or other people, then the movie falls flat. Same thing with other movies like King Kong movie, Godzilla movie, uh, superhero movie. When, when you go to like a, a Captain America movie and they start focusing on other stuff other than Captain America or stuff like that, fall flat. Um, and for me, for me, the, the reason why the first one worked so well because it focused on all five of them. All five of them. Because they, they, they set out on a journey. And some people say that it's similar to Toy Story. And some people say that if it wasn't for a uh, regular Toy Story, then Toy Story might never got made. And I said that in my review of uh, the regular Toy Story movie review. Uh, so, um, um, 
So, so like, so that's what worked so well in 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 the um in the original Blood Girl Tokyo movie. They all stay on the journey, and they were, they were all about the uh, the friendship, their adventure, and it didn't really focus on uh, anybody else that much. Here, the appliances, the appliances were like side character, and. Uh, uh, the master, let's see here, uh, Rob, let me see here, I, I, I'm trying to get this, uh, yeah, the master, Uh, Rob. So, um, but really, the main character is Rob. What they, they talked about in the first one, Master. And, and here, and, and, and here, he becomes the main character. In the first one, the five clients, they were the main, uh, the main, um, uh, and the first one, the, uh, the fire appliance thing, you know, the toaster, the radio, the blanket, Kirby, you know, you know, the vacuum cleaner, and lamp. They become, they, they become the, um, the, the side characters, and Rob become the main character, and play the toaster to the rescue. Um, uh, and he become, because we don't want to say why he become the, uh, Main character because because you know he's graduating from college and on the on the, and, and he got to finish his thesis he loses his thesis and on the day I think I think on the day that it was the anniversary of his girlfriend and he his, his his computer shut down he can't find his thesis on his computer. And um, he had some pet. He don't like a snake, a rat, a cat. They had babies. And I, I think it was like a chimpanzee or something. And really, really, really the. The five clients that, that that was the main character in the first one that had found the adventure looking for their master, they become the side characters in this one. They do a lot of talking and stuff and do a lot of work and help and stuff, but they become like a side character. Uh, in the movie, uh, Rob had a lot of work to do because you know he loses his feet there. Uh, he graduated from college, and, uh, he worried about, he, he panicking, go, oh, I lose my thesis, I can't find it, and then, uh, his girlfriend mad at him, cause he don't know, uh, what is the anniversary for, and, then he find out uh one of the one of the computers help him remember um remind him or I should say remind him uh, remind him that somebody uh, uh is, is you know getting rid of his uh his pet that he done. I think he is becoming a veterinarian. Okay, uh, but there's still, there's still there's still some good stuff in the movie, uh, like uh, I think the best part of the movie 
it when they all get mad at uh, the radio for uh, breaking the, you know, uh, I would say the battery or the light bulb, whatever you want to call it. And that's supposed to go into the, the old, an ancient, um, outdated uh, uh, computer. And then what happened? Uh, he went all like that, and then and then another one comes out around the corner because he takes it out of him. But the radio have another one, but if he takes it out of his himself, he would die. Basically, he would not work no more. He would die, and and he died, and he died, sacrificed himself when he takes his his, his red his battery out or his light bulb. What you gonna call it? And they get that they get that radio. I mean that battery, the light bulb, whatever, to uh, that that computer, that that big giant computer, and that's kind of bad. Uh, they made they they made the rat in the movie kind of cute. Called Rapto, Rapto, what are you gonna call it? Rapto. Um, they had they had the bad guy that trying to get rid, rid of uh, Rob, Pet, got to make money. Um, so, uh, I like the movie. The movie would have been better. If uh, if it was focused on just the appliances and not the uh, not the um, the animals, at the end at the end, um, he um, he um, gets his pet back from the bad guy that he knows he knows the bad guy. The, the bad guy was supposed to uh, watch over the uh, pet, but then he he sells them, trying to make profit. But then in the end, um, in the end, the movie ends where he proposed to his girlfriend, and the girlfriend gave him a little box, and and Rob goes, "I'm not a ring type of guy," and he goes, "Well, now ring, go open the box, and it's the battery to radio." So the radio get resurrected. So and then uh, you know it's a little kid movie, and they're not gonna have a little kind of like a little death. And when you, when you saw the cover of this one, the third one, it's all radio. You know he he was gonna come back. And, and and I like I like the song that they play a couple times throughout the movie. Um, Stop and tell me I'm into something good. Yeah, I like that song. Uh, it played a couple times in the movie on radio. Um, so uh, I would say. Uh, uh, this is an okay movie and an okay sequel, not totally bad. Uh, the radio death in the movie, the radio death in the movie, the bad part of the movie. Uh, he read the direction, it's good. I'm like, wow, he, he came out the line. Uh, yeah. So now, Rob from the first movie. Uh, graduated from college, he's a veterinarian, got married, uh, so he gonna, he gonna take all his plane with them. So, uh, I don't totally hate it. If I did, it would be like a rant. Uh, there's some good stuff in the movie. I already told you the best stuff in the movie. Uh, um, and, and I think radio is still the uh, the radio is still the funniest the funniest um, uh, character in the 
in the first two uh, Blade Runner Tokyo movies, and probably followed by uh, followed by Lamp. Then it would be uh, Kirby. Blanket, it's the cutest, and the little toaster, the, the blade little toaster, uh, he just like the toughest, and the leader, the hey, quick fighting, that's all he does in, 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 in the movie, and, uh, and this one, and the first one. Uh, people say that the, the original one is, is a dark movie, has some dark stuff in it, like the, like, like the, uh, the clown, fireman, and the stuff at the uh, junkyard. I can tell you, easily tell you, that way little Tokyo to the rescue is more lighthearted. Um, even though the original one, uh, it was dark, but it was more funnier. This one's still funnier. Uh, I still like it. Uh, not totally bad, it's still watchable. I'm gonna give the Brave Little Tucker to the rescue a C. Plus. Okay? If I did like it, I'll tell you. I don't totally hate it, I don't totally like it. Uh, I think it's just okay. That's why I gave it a C. Plus. It's still watchable. I wasn't bored from getting to end. Uh, yeah. So, are you like the are you are you like the guy in, in this movie, Rob, that uh, attached to your appliances that you can't get rid of? If you do, you start crying. Let me know that comment section below. And what's your favorite boy girl torture movie? And you to my channel, hit the like button, and cry. Thank you.